one. So to go through, on this example, we have x is less than or 5 or x is greater than negative 1. Jamie, I'm going to go back to my exact same example. If I say if you or your friend come in for extra help, I'll give you extra credit. So in that case, right, I didn't say and, I said or. So if you show up, you get extra credit. If your friend shows up, you get extra credit, right? One or the other. Well, what happens if you both show up? It still works. So or is what we call inclusive. Or includes both solutions as well as the intersection of them. Okay? So and only included the intersection, where or is going to include both of them. So for over here, I'll just have 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6. Now simply what we're going to do is just going to graph each one of these separately. So here I have x is less than negative 5. So I make a nice big circle. Again, I see my arrow point. The values that are less than negative 5 are going to go to the left. Over here, I have x is greater than negative 1. So the values that are greater than negative 1 is going to go to the right, which will be your positive numbers. Yep. And that's going to be my final answer. Okay. Now, I do want you guys to understand something. Um, because it is possible. 